Hi guys, it's Isa. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be sharing with you guys my hair and makeup routine for when I go out or take pictures or travel. This is what I would normally do. Before we get into it, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who supported and liked my previous video. Another thing is I'm not going out. I'm just doing this at home just for fun, just to share with you guys. If you want to see how I did this look, keep watching. So the first thing I do is I use my sunscreen and this is from Bior. It is the Aqua Rich sunscreen. So I'm just going to apply a bit on my fingers and starting at the center of my face, I work my way out. For under my eyes, I like to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. So I just open it up and just apply this lightly under my eyes. For my other spots, I like to use the same concealer. Like here. <laughs> my skin is not perfect. Okay. Gonna cover that. And any other spots I may have. And then I like to use a paddle brush to blend the product around my face part here and I just blend it and then I'm also blending the one underneath my eyes add some to my neck as well hmm. I'm gonna add some there so now that's all covered up I'm just going to take my Maybelline powder. So I've been using this powder since I was in high school. Powder is done. Next is brows. So for my brows, I'm just using a brown powder. This one's from MAC. So I just take a bit on my brush and I am going to follow the natural shape of my brows. The other brow now. There is <laughs> concealer on my hair. Whoops. I feel like I've expressed this in my previous video, but I hate doing brows. I wish I could just have perfect brows every time I woke up. Are they equal? <laughs> mm. I think that's gonna have to do for now. So brows are done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some bronzer on my face. The bronzer that I use is the Balm Take Home the Bronze Bronzer. I have been using this forever and I love it. So I take the product on my brush and then I use this. And I'm just gonna... Then I apply here at the sides of my face and down here as well. Okay, so I'm good with bronzer. I am going to use the same product for my eyes and for my nose. I don't like having to carry a lot of different products when I could just use this. So I'm applying this to my eye. I'm just going to pinch my brush, get the product again, and apply this to my lower lash line. The super light hand because I just want to lightly define that. Now that's done, I'm going to apply my blush. So I like to use MAC Dolly Mix Blush. So I'm applying the blush. Next, I'm going to apply some eyeliner. This is just a brow eyeliner from K Palette. It is the Real Lasting 24 Hour Eyeliner. I'm just applying this a super thin line on my lash line. So now the eyeliner is on. I'll apply a bit underneath just cause. To make them even better, my favorite mascara. I love curling my lashes. I feel like 
they make such a big difference in how my eyes look. And then the mascara I like to use is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. Ooh. It really makes such a big difference. So now that the mascara is on, I'm going to put some highlighter. I like to use this face palette from Kiko. The palette's broken. <laughs> but I'm going to take this kind of rosy highlight. A little bit here, my nose bridge. And then on the brow bone as well. And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit here too. So now that's done. I'm going to take my Caroline Bean Stick. And this is kind of like, sometimes I use this as highlighter too. But I like to put this on the inner corners of my eyes. Okay. So these are my two favorite lipsticks. This is the Maybelline 657 Nude New Ones. And this is Caroline's. Soft Suede Lipstick in Icon. So these are super similar and these are my two favorites that I would wear almost every day. But for today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Nude New Ones Lipstick. And this. So this is the final makeup look. Yay. The next thing I'm going to do is my hair. So I put my hair down now, start from the front, curl, then push it back. Okay. So once that's done, I just check, and then I'm gonna work on this other side. style it a bit. Sometimes I just keep it like this and leave it down as is. But today I thought of doing my hairstyle when I travel. I just part my hair here in the middle and I'm just going to get a section of hair here and twist. Then I'm just bobby pin and then I'm just gonna take another bobby pin just so that it is in place. Then I'm going to do the same for the other side. So this is the final look. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, just leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Can't talk. Uh -huh. Enough, enough.